So let's begin today, people. So let's do it. Hello, guys. Welcome to this class. This is class number 14. No, 13. And I'm Carlos Solano, your teacher. So let's begin right now, people. How was your day? Let's begin with it. Let's see. I want to add, guys, remember whether it's possible, try to turn your camera on. Let's do it. Hi. Uh, well, my day was uh, not so bad. But yesterday, I typed in you on um, private. Yeah. Uh, yes, so. And I have some issues with the connection and the light. And the thing is that I saw it until late at night. So, yeah, don't worry. Guys, when okay. you have a problem with a uh, connection problem, uh, yeah, that's okay. You know, th those things happen. That's understandable. Those things are going to always happen, right? Especially in this country. So we are going to have these type of problems. So guys, uh, don't worry. When that happens, try to connect as soon as possible. If you are having problems with the internet, you can go ahead and reboot the modem. Let me know before you do it. So that's it, guys. Okay. So whenever you, you have type of these problems, we are going to we we will see that one. Okay. Hey, and teacher. Don't worry. Yeah, Yuri, tell me. Uh, for tomorrow, I have a parent meeting at my son's school, so I will be joining class a little bit late, or at least I will be just listening. That's it's okay. at, at 7 p.m., so I cannot avoid that meeting. No worries. That's okay. okay. Thank so, you. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know in advance. Uh, Giannina Paola, please keep your name. Anna, uh, please. Right now, teacher, sorry. Help me with it. Thank you. Let's see, guys. So how was your day, people? Let's talk to Marta. How was your day today? Hi, everyone. Uh, well, I think my day was boring today because uh, I'm, I, I'm working in a system right now because, you know, we, we work a lot with customs office. So uh, in the middle of July, we have to inform about uh, all the operations for three months to custom office, and I'm working on that report. Uh, but I feel sometimes that that is so tedious for me because uh, it's boring, you know, only uh, entering data in a system. But well, someone have, has to do it. <laughs> Uh, but that was just all my day, but I feel kind of uh, sick today. I was, uh, I, I had fever uh, an hour ago, but I don't know. I think uh, I heard that some co-workers has COVID again, uh, but I don't know if maybe I got infected, but I don't know. That could be just my, my mind playing with me, but I don't know. For real, I will. I will take some tests tomorrow, and we'll see. You you feel like a, you have flu? I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I mean the same. I'm having the same. Uh, there is a truck in front of my house. That's why I couldn't begin the class on time. They were making noises and stuff like that. I don't hear you very well right now, guys. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, continue, please. Uh -huh. Tell me, Yuri, what would, what you were saying? Sorry. No, yes, I was just saying, saying that I had the same symptoms as Marta, but I don't believe I have COVID. I think it's just a normal flu. No, okay. Good. Uh, well, you know. So, people, let's see today. Today, 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 we have, uh, well, Yesterday's topic, we were talking about uh, grammar topic. Today, we are going to cover that one. We are going to go with listening again, guys. And those are the things that we are going to be looking at, people. 
And there is going to be a punctuation exercise later on. So those things are the ones that we are going to cover. Ah, uh, people, something that I have forgotten. Let's do it right now, guys. Give me a second. I send you right there the document with the information of your scores, guys. So later on, I'll send you that one on the group. Anyways, this is the updated version, guys. We have everything down there, guys. So you can see all your scores. And you can look into your comments as well. You can look on the things that you need to improve, guys. And if there is any problem, let me know. We are going to fix it, guys. People, uh, we are almost in the middle, almost. So at the end of this week, we are going to be just like right in the middle of our course to end. So guys, what does this mean? Well, it means that next Monday, people, we are going to have our middle test, okay? So that will be next Monday, guys. What is it going to cover? Well, today, well, I'll tell you today what we are going to be covering on this one, but pretty much is this, this stuff we already saw, okay? So don't worry about it. And that's it. That's it. So, people, I really like actually these last presentations. Uh, well, I could see the hard work you had guys. So that's super important. You work for this one and there is no score lower than eight, I think on the oral presentation. I don't know if there is a seven. I don't think so, I don't remember. Even there is a 10. So, uh, that means a lot. That means good preparation. There were some problems like the video problem you had. So don't worry about it. Those things happen. Okay. But even you, there is a person that prepared a video. He was not in the class, but he prepared the video. So that means a lot. Okay. So be disciplined, guys. That's what we talked last class. You need to be disciplined. You need to make your effort, guys, and you will be able to get all your goals basically that's what uh it takes guys so people that's what i wanted to share with you let's go right now i have a question for you the question is what are your abilities i want to talk about your skills so let's but let's focus the skills that you can use in your house okay don't tell me that you can play the accordion. Think about the house. Think about the house chores. Think about the work that you have to do at home. So, uh, well, what do you need to do? What are the things you, you have to do? What can you do, sorry? What can you do? What are your abilities? Let's talk to Jaime. No, Jaime is not here. Joaquin, tell me. what are the skills you have to fix your house or to do housework? I don't know. Okay, uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk about it. Um, don't worry about it. Well, I think I am good at cleaning the house. Uh, when, when, when I have free time on weekends, because you know, every weekend there's something to do every weekend and you need to go out to do something they're out or spend spending some time with the family and um, but i think the best part of uh, i am good at is when being at home cleaning the house i go deeply and clean it <laughs> that's the best thing i can do and okay. way and, and well, I, 
I think there are other things cleaning. that we can do, but cleaning the house. What is... about plumbing work? Are you good at it? Oh, no, not really. I'm not good at doing that. So when a problem like this happens, you get all things repaired by somebody else, I guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Well, Let's... A simple, simple, maybe simple things, probably I can, I can fix, but it's not. For example, simple. if your toilet is broken, so it's not getting water. So could you repair I, it? Could you I, I, could, I, I could check if, uh, I don't know how to say it, the, the valve. Valve? Gauge. Gauge. Okay. okay, I can check that if too tight or, or not, if correct, but um, if there's something worse happening, I could not do it. Okay. I could have someone else out. You hire someone else to do it. Good, yeah. excellent. Right. Adali, what about you? Hi guys, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, um, I just have uh, my abilities is, for example, um, I love uh, to cook. I cook for my family. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I what love What are your it. specialities? Barbecue. I love make barbecue. And um, uh, actually, I think that that is a good a good thing because uh, when I when I cooking, uh, my sons uh, uh, get love uh, with me, and, and also I spend uh, a long time with with them. Uh, for example, uh, on the weekend. And I, I usually, um, uh, I cook in the morning and in, in lunch as well and the dinner. And when, uh, when we took a coffee, for example, I make coffee good for them. And I think that is a good, uh, I think that is a special moment to spend with them. What about if, I don't know, you said you like to cook. What about yeah. if you, if someone wants to cook, for example, chicken soup? Can you prepare chicken, chicken soup? soup? Yeah, I did. I, uh, I do. I do. Okay, good. Excellent. Yeah. So that's great. Great. Excellent. Like, Thank you. Know how to cook. Uh, yeah. Sibel, what about you? What are your house chores abilities? Well, uh, in my case, well, I don't know. <laughs> I can cook. I love to cook, but uh, usually I don't have, uh, now I don't have a lot of time. Before I was at uh, this work in teleperformance, every single day I, I, I I cut uh, in, in my house. My, now, no, right? But I love to clean my clothes very well. Um, uh, sometimes I think I, I, I feel a little perfectionist in this kind of uh, situation. And I love to, to have my, my room extremely clean. Um, my, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, sometimes I think I'm, um, a little bit uh, hard with this, uh, um, too much perfection, <laughs> I think, but uh, I love it. I love it because I enjoy that. And we usually on Sundays, I, it's my day to do this kind of uh, activities in my house. My, and yeah, yes, that's the, the, the time that I have to do, clean my, my house and, and have a rest. What about repairmen, repairmen in the house? So I if there is something you need to repair, can you do it or you have someone uh, to do it? Someone because I can't, I can't. Uh, so you have I can try, yeah. Yeah, I can try, yeah, because sometimes if I, 
um, sometimes I there are some things that you, you can do because there are easily situation maybe you can see that uh tornillo tornillo i don't know who can i say tornillo tornillos it's going to be screws screw. screw. it's yeah. it, it's not good i try to no okay uh, do that or imagine if i can see it's easy easy things i can do that but uh, repair the toilet I never tried. Oh, okay. but, yeah. Carlos, you wanted to say something. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Just to talking about our uh, my skills in, at home. Tell us. For what fixing are things. Well, um, you know, when I was younger than today, I liked it to uh, paint, you know, paint the house, uh, uh, the interior and exterior. So, um, uh, uh, because I like to have the, the house, uh, you know, uh, shiny in terms of, uh, you know, paint. And uh, also because I am a former electrician, I, uh, I made some uh, electrical fixing, like simple, right? Uh, change, you know, uh, bulbs and switches, uh, not to, so complicated things. But uh, kind of, you know, this that uh, happen suddenly, uh, and we need to fix so uh, quick, quickly. And uh, there's the other thing that I like to do, uh, but it's uh, is clean. I like uh, a clean house, you know, shiny and clean. That is why I like to uh, the house with no garbage. Uh, all pieces in the in there in the correct space and so on, but uh, not 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 nothing complicated. That's my my are my skills. Okay, what about Carlos? If an electrical problem happens in your house, I don't know. There is a well. Uh, firstly, I, uh, I try to yeah. Firstly, I try to make a diagnosis, you know? I try to uh, understand it. And if I can fix it, well, I, I, go, I, I go forward. Otherwise, I have to contact one of my colleagues, former colleagues that are active and of course they, because they have, you know, tools, uh, updated knowledge, and, uh, and they can be uh, the, the right people because you know it's dangerous to try to um, do something in electrical um, circuit when you are not um, mm -hmm. knowledgeable about the the problem. So, because uh, there could could, uh, could um, arise um, fire, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, uh, it's risky. So that's the reason why I prefer uh, to call a, a, a former colleague so that uh, he, he can be in charge of fixing the, the problem uh, for avoiding any more complicated situations in the near future. That's uh, my, 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 my point of view on this. Yeah, basically, if you don't know, don't touch. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Good, excellent. So you have someone do it for you. It's so dangerous. Man. Good, excellent. People, in my case, I like take some risk about it. You like to take risk? <laughs> what yeah. Area? Tell us. Go uh, ahead. About electricity. Ah, okay. For example, I like it uh, trying to do different things about the electricity. I like mm -hmm. and. Yes, this is, I think I can say that this is one of my abilities for, for my home because I, I try to repair, like uh, Carlos said, that uh, I try to look or check what is the problem if I ident identify. So I decide if I can do it. But in my case, when I was building this house, so I can say um, 
money because I, I don't I don't have to pay for <laughs> no one more for doing something because I I have some knowledge about it like a uh, plumb like electricity um, like uh, the doors something like that the windows so uh, I have I can do it but obviously you know sometimes we have some problem that obviously you need to call for help but uh, another thing that I, I can say about it maybe yes I like paint the house I try to change colors or maybe the same color but once a year and yeah I like it so you like to take risk yeah. sometimes <laughs> sometimes yeah oh, good yeah <laughs> excellent so uh good people as you might remember it so that's what we were talking yesterday right and there was a way we could do it so we are going to check it one more time just to clarify if there was a problem yesterday so we are going to clarify let guys we use let i'll send you this one don't worry so let we use let to give permissions right to allow someone my parents let me watch tv okay we don't use let me to watch that's incorrect make well in make i'm sorry guys We are not going to use, just we are going to use the base form. We don't say make a, me to do. No, make me feel, make me do my homework. Okay, my parents make me do my homework. Uh, stuff like that. That means force. You are compelling someone to do it. Get, that means convince somebody i can never get my parents to in this case yeah we are going to use to to allow me to stay up late okay have when do we use have uh, just a question for make go ahead uh, when somebody use uh, you make me feel good is the same um, uh, structure or different? Yeah, actually, force, but also produce. Okay, so, force or produce. Also produce, especially talking about feelings, we use this yeah. structure. Yeah, because I have heard uh, some songs, you know, that have- Yeah, like, make me sentence. feel, like yesterday question, what music <laughs> makes you feel depressed? And everybody started, ah, Ricardo Rejon, ah, this, this, and that. So, yeah. Okay, thank and you. And the one that I had problems yesterday, probably you had problems because I didn't explain that one well, have guys. What is the structure? Well, it will be basically the same as all of this except get. So we just have, when we say, or when we are trying to say, to authorize somebody to give the responsibility to somebody. My parents had me wash the car last weekend. Like the question uh, you had, do you have someone else do it for you? Do you have someone else do it? Everything changes if it is not a person here. If instead of a person, we are talking about a thing. So my parents had the house, and in this case means give the responsibility to someone else, had the house painted last weekend. Okay, something like that. So that's what we are going to have. Have, we can substitute it with get. Get is more informal, have is more formal. And there is another one that is not here, guys, in the list, help. But help, ah, you can say, you help me to do the homework. You help me do the homework. That's okay. Help, we can use both. 
That's why probably it's not here included in this picture, but it's the same thing. So guys, do you have any question about this one? Uh, yeah, could you repeat the example with the equation using have or have? Okay, it will be the same structure. For example, let's see, I want to talk about a person. Do you have Mike? Uh, what? Do you have Mike? Uh, Do you have Mike cook dinner for us? Le diste la responsabilidad a Mike para que cocinara para nosotros. Le asignaste a Mike cocinar para nosotros. Like that. ¿Qué tal if I want to make it present progressive? Something happening right now. Are you having Marta check the exercises now? So, le asignó a Marta, uh, no le asignó. It, le ha dado en este momento, es que bien raro, guys, es bien raro. In Spanish, we don't use this one. So, sería como, le está dando a Marta la responsabilidad de, da, de revisar los exámenes ahorita? Something like that. It sounds weird. We don't use that one in Spanish. So, like that. Okay. And we can do it with a lot of all the variable tenses. Okay. So, that's how you use it. Remember, we can use it with things as well. For example, have you had. ¿Alguna vez has dejado que el bolo repare la casa? So, like that. Something like that. ¿Alguna vez le has dado o alguna vez le has asignado, le has dicho al hombre que repare tu casa? Something like that. Okay? So, that is the way it goes. Rem Remember, when we are talking about things, the house repaired we are going to use e the endings right so, sorry uh, past participle verbs any question guys think about one example send it to the chat please question or sentence um no, 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 no. you know what no, it could be whatever you want. Positive, negative question. Let's go. Let's do it, guys. But a pump, right? On this chat. Okay. On Zoom chat.
send it over guys send it right there we are going to be looking at them in a couple of seconds Let's continue, guys. Send them over, please. The same or another one? Only one, only one. So don't worry about it. If you send it already, wait. Just wait a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, let's look at some examples. Let's go right now. Ooh, there are a lot of examples. Okay, Peter, that's okay. So try to watch the classes that we had so you don't have any problem understanding, right? I will have my son paint the house. Good. You have had more than 50 beers in one single night. Still, you are not delegating anything there, Judy? The question is okay. Okay. Have you ever had? Creo que sería mejor. So in this question, pero no está delegando. You are not delegating anything in this one. So it's not the one that we have started. I have my father repair the toilet. Good, excellent. I have my son pick up his toys every night. Okay, good. Have you repaired the chair? Liliana, in this case, you are not delegating anything or you are not asking for delegation. You are only asking me 
si yo he reparado la silla. So, no, I had a meeting, but, but I sent another, another example. Ah, okay, we will see it. My mother had me prepare, okay? Prepare, verbo normal sin el to. Prepare lunch sin de. Guys, all the uh, meals, you don't use de. The breakfast, the dinner, you don't say. You only say dinner, breakfast, lunch for tomorrow. I have my, my mom cook for me. Adali, come on. That sounds like. It's an example. <laughs> I know, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. The boss have his secretary. The boss has third person. Still, Marta, you are not delegating anything there. Okay. Teacher, oh, below is the complete sentence. Ah, okay. Remember third yeah. person. I have my daughter clean her bedroom before a visit. Okay. Did you have Rachel clean the refrigerator yesterday? Sibel, good example. I like it. The boss have, has his secretary in charge of the meeting. The boss has his secretary be in charge of the meeting. Okay. You need a verb to complete the sentence. My mom have me, has me, third person, Liliana. My mom has me cook the dinner all Saturdays, okay. My sister had me make, normal verb, base form, pupusas today, David, so careful with that one. I will have to talk, I will have to talk my girlfriend to wash. Well, this one, Mike, still you are, I will have to talk. Remember that after two, you are going to use all the time and base form. But the sentence will be better in this way. I will have my girlfriend wash my clothes. I will have my girlfriend wash my clothes. Okay, so you are delegating this responsibility to her. Come on, do it. So I have Marta check the papers <laughs> to chip the POs. Okay. My iPad is broken. I need to have it repaired. Ah, good, excellent. Who did this one? Vanessa, great example. I could have called my mom to clean the house. I could have called my mom clean the house. Okay. I could have called. No, I could have my mom clean the house. Call is in necessary right now. Okay. You are telling me the, the, the responsibility you gave, not how you did it. Remember that, guys. My daughter have had, has had opportunities I never had. Well, this one is not a delegation. Uh, remember third person, my daughter has had opportunities. I have my mother prepare normal birth, the birthday dinner, Cindy. Uh, I have my sister call people invited to my mom's party. Good, Mike, that's better. Y ahí terminamos, right? So that's the way it goes. Um, uh, I think it's good. Guys, do me a favor. Could you could you send the? G give me a second. I will open my WhatsApp. Just give me a second, guys.
I'll send you that one in a minute, in a minute, guys. So let's do something, people. I have a question for you now. Have you ever delegated someone to do something? Or have you ever, sorry, been assigned to do something important? Yes, no, yes, yes, no, no. So let's go, guys. Tell me information. Try to use this structure we just learned. Let's do it. Let's use it, guys. We are going to work in trios, okay? So let's go right now, guys. Practice the question.
teacher, I sent you uh, a text. I'm sorry, lady. I was in a different group. That's why I didn't check the messages right now. So, and I just saw it right now that you couldn't join. Uh, the thing is that uh, I don't know what happened at the beginning. Uh, it's like you didn't join to that, that one. So probably it's a connection problem or something. That's why I moved the persons that were in that room. There was only one person, so I moved her to a different room. That's the thing that happened. Uh, I don't have my WhatsApp either. So if you send me a WhatsApp, because I cannot open it, I don't know why. So anyways, uh, let's see. Guys, let's go right now. I want to hear you saying this one, guys. And please try to use this structure, okay? Before we go, still, I was listening to some of you guys. And... Okay, want to repeat the presentation again. Problems with the third person. She says, my boss has me. No, my boss has. Remember, we are going to apply all the rules that we already know. So it's not going to be like new rules and stuff like that. No, it will be the same rules we know. So, be careful with the and that's it. Let's listen to Mike. Tell us, have you ever delegated someone to do something or have you ever been assigned to do something important? Let's go with you, my friend. Let's practice right now. Honestly, with you, I haven't done that to do a delegation to someone else, to, to, anybody, to anybody, but I was assigned to do a lot of things like reports, like uh, send information to another people out, out, of, out of the country, I'm sorry, but um, it wasn't good because in the first time it was like undone. I didn't understand anything. So honestly with, honestly with you, I, I was saying this and I'm gonna be honest, those type of question, it's a little bit difficult for me to like, to, to say that, to make the ideas or follow the structure is a little bit hard, but I think that I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best, uh, not right now, later on, I'm gonna study more about it because I, honestly, I'm stuck, I'm done, honestly. <laughs> because I don't have, I, I have a lot of ideas in my mind, but when I, I need to put the birds, I need to put the saga, I need to put this and this, I'm done. This is like, okay, my mind is gone. <laughs> Try it now, don't worry. But let's see. Go, this go is, ahead. Uh, Don't how I say can, no. I, how I can I start with this? Let's see. Um, let's see. Mm. Honestly, I'm down, man. I, I don't know why, what's going on with my mind. That's okay. Think I will, about I, it. All right. So I will need that you can do me a favor. I can. I will go back with you in a couple of minutes. Mm, yeah, yeah, but I will send you a message. All right. Tell but me. You can... <laughs> all right. So I think that that is gonna be better for me if you um if you give me like a homework that I need to do because I I'm, I think that I need a little bit more pushing about you in order to complete this like this challenge. So that you can send me some question that I need to answer you, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna think about it, and I I I, I think that's gonna be better because I need that you can push me a little bit more. Okay, that's, you know, that's good. The thing is that I won't have all day's time to like check the homework because yeah, I am super busy all days. These days no, I no. like um, 
days off, you know, so it wasn't mm -hmm. holidays, but then I will start to work again and it will be possible for me to check it. So, all right, but fine. Uh, I'll try to do it, okay? So we all are right, going fine. to start today. Send me a message later on when the class finishes and I'll give you one that you should practice, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be better. Okay. Because I need, I need to, to think about it. I need to do something. But try just to create, you know, later on, guys, we are going to be working on this one, actually, uh, on July. We are going to have a part that you, well, I'll give you some words. You will need to create stories with this one. So imagination is one of the best things that can help us to sound more confident, guys, okay? And to sound that we know what we are doing. So that's something you can try as well, guys. Let's see. I want to listen to Carlos. Help us, please. Have you ever been delegated? Uh, mm. Have you ever delegated someone to do something or you have ever been assigned to do something important? Let's go. Try to use the structure we just learned. Let's do well, it. Well, I was telling to my colleagues in the room that when I was a child, I had... had send uh, my brother uh, to grocery store often. And um, of course I have been uh, also delegated, you know, when also when, when I was a child, uh, my parents have had look after my brothers and sisters during their absence. So both. <laughs> okay, it's good. But try to give me more details about the scenario, okay? It's not necessary that I use this one all the time, guys. But remember, never give me short answers. So what what, what was the what was the assignment? Did you like it? You didn't like well, it. So uh, because I was a young, the the oldest, I mean uh, um, among my brothers and sisters, I have in charge of to look after all of them. I even clean the house. So my father, my parents often have, have asked me for um, doing all tasks during the, the day before go to school, right? So uh, my my brother, uh, the younger younger than me, um, uh, he often uh, attend the school during the afternoon and myself during the uh, morning. So we combine our schedules for uh, doing some uh, home uh, activities for uh, having the house uh, clean, you know, in order. And my sisters, because they were um, uh, uh, younger than or both of us, uh, they have a need more, you know, uh, cares. So I was telling to my colleagues that uh, we work at, at that time as a daycare of <laughs> those girls. Thank uh, you that so time. much. That's better, you know? So okay. it was good. I like it. Just try to work a little bit more on this structure. That's for sure. And remember to give longer answers. But it was good. Thank you so much. Uh, Carlos, work. just work a little bit more on this structure. Let's listen right now to Cindy. Can you help us? Can you answer the same question? Have you ever been, have you ever delegated or have you ever been assigned to do something important? Cindy, are you there? Probably she might be working. Uh, let's go with Claudia. Can you help me with this one? Um, yes, teacher. Well, in my case, I was, think, I was thinking uh, when I was talking with the with our classmates uh, that in my case, for example, I have uh, my coworkers bright press kit to our clients. Because we we have to to help to our clients to 
in the communication strategy, uh, for example, in the in the job that they do in front of the mass media, then we have to prepare press kit every day. Okay. Uh, how, how was it? Was it difficult? Did you like the assignment? Try to go more in detail. Well, I think it's difficult because we have to think what is the most important message that you need to, to give in, the, in, in each situation that you have a launch or do you have an interview? It's, it's hard because you have to think uh, what is the, the most important, yes, message that you, that you have to give to convince your audience. Then is you have you have to think about it every day or with with many different topics. How you are going to say that to your stakeholders? Okay, good, excellent. It was good, Claudia. Remember, guys, everybody, please. Try to give long answers, not short stuff. Remember, we are actually, guys, you can create this a scenario, right? It's not necessary that you tell me the truth. Uh, you have to create the scenario. You can make it up. That's okay. No problem, okay? So That's something you can try. You can try with this, guys. So people, important you give long answers. And Claudia tried to work a little bit more with the structure. Actually, I didn't hear the structure or the structure was not used. So be careful with okay. it. Try okay. to work with, with this one. So guys, let's see one more. Jose, help us, please. The same question. Let's go. Um, well, teacher, um, I remember that a few weeks ago, I have had my cousin take the car to the workshop, uh, but the, the risk was that he doesn't, uh, can drive very well. So in my case, I was scary about it. And obviously when I was uh, worked for another department in the company, um, the company has me, went to the bank and for paid some bills, but I had a lot of money. So you can imagine was very difficult for me because it was a, a big responsibility. So I, I had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of thousands dollars. So was a really scare, obviously, because you can imagine having in your hands a lot of money was a, a risk. More of that because here in El Salvador, you know, <laughs> we always, in, in some places are, are uh, dangerous, dangerous places here. So yes, I can say that. Good. Jose, great job. Thanks. You, you, you know, guys, it's not necessary that you use all the time what we have learned. Little by little, you are going to include it in, in your conversations, guys. But it was good. Uh, I really like it. You didn't have problem with grammar. You were natural, so super good job, okay? So great job, well done. Actually, it was really good. So guys, uh, let's continue working on that one. We are going to see this type of little structures that probably we have never studied before, so we are going to see these little things that will help us to improve our English. Next class, guys, we will see another one uh, that is super important. 
So tomorrow we will talk about the past, but that's another story. That's a story for tomorrow, guys. So guys, let's do something right now, please, everybody. We are going to go again with our listening exercises. So please get a piece of paper. And guys, one of the quizzes that we will have, it will be, uh, how well, it will be a tough exercise like this one. It will be the same techniques that we have learned. So don't worry about it. Give me a second. And everybody, please get ready right now. Piece of paper, pay attention. Let's do it right now. Let's go with this one, guys. Recording in progress. It's raining. It's raining? Really? Yes. A lot here. Well, a lot. So if it is possible, try to get some earphones, guys, headsets. Let's do this one right now, guys. So. Give me a second. There you go. So guys, we are going to have our listening exercise of today. So please everybody pay attention to it. Let's go right now. And let's do this one guys. Give me just a second, people. And let's go. Guys, please pay attention. So let's go with this one right now, guys. Okay. So there's a different technique for today, guys. And the one that we are going to be uh, focusing here, it will be listen for double negative expression. It is impossible for two negative ideas to appear in one sentence. And the result can be quite confusing. So what is a double negative? For example, I don't know nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, it's like confusing. So, uh, it's like entrar para adentro, right? So, can be confusing in certain circumstances, right? So, the same here, the same here happens in English. So, double negative, I never, I don't never go. American people, they are not going to understand. Probably native, uh, probably Spanish speakers like us, we will have an idea because we understand the mistake, but Americans, no. Okay, so that's something that will happen here. Pay attention, guys. So, he didn't like the unclean office. That's incorrect. So, another one, it isn't snowing, so they aren't going to the mountains. That sentence is confusing. Sue didn't like the movie. And neither did Mark. TOEFL exercise. So that is kind of confusing. What are we going to listen in this exercise, guys? Eight. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be particularly careful of double negatives. Of course, they are not going to use double negatives. You need to listen to the question and answer the the well the question correctly guys 
Number one. Do you think Ron Rogers will be elected? Well, it's not completely impossible. What does the woman imply about Ron? Guys, can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. David, let's do something. Close it. Try to log in again. Or if you are using the cell phone, try to swipe. Try to swap until you find the, the, the thing. That sometimes happens when you're using cell phones. I will go out. <laughs> Number two. That's okay. That's Just wait, guys. Read the questions right now. Let's wait for David. David is back again. So let's go right now. How was your tennis match today? I didn't serve well, and I didn't volley well either. What does the man say about his tennis game? Number three. Was Gary prepared for the debate? It's no surprise that he was unprepared. What does the woman say about Gary? Number four. Did you go out dancing with everyone else last night? I was not feeling well, so I didn't go out. What does the woman mean? Number five. Do you think Paula understands what she's done? She isn't unaware of the trouble she's caused. What does the man say about Paula? Number six. Did your friends finish the term paper for history class? Steve wasn't able to finish it, and Paul wasn't either. What does the woman mean? Number seven. Can you believe that George walked out of the restaurant without paying for his share of the meal? It was irresponsible of him not to pay the bill. What does the woman mean? Number eight. What happened when Harry applied to Millhouse University? It was unfortunate that he wasn't admitted to the university. What does the woman say about Harry? Number nine. What did you think of the essay that I wrote? The first draft of the essay wasn't well written, and the second wasn't much better. What does the man mean? Number 10. Has Roger been disturbed by all of the recent problems? He hasn't been unaffected. What does the woman mean? Okay, guys, do me a favor, everybody, please. 
send your answers to the group. Everybody send your answers to the group. To the WhatsApp group, guys. You can send a picture, you can send the answers, whatever you want. You can write them down. Send them, guys. Don't worry if you didn't. Uh, catch any of those, that's okay. Send them, send it over, please. Let's go, let's send them. We will see it right now. Well, it is not the best, but anyways. Don't worry, we are going to listen to all of them this time. You will see the script. So you are going to understand better what was going on here and what was the answer. Number one, do you think Ron Rogers will be elected? Well, it's not completely impossible. What does the woman imply about Ron? Number one, D, it may happen. Number two. How was your tennis match today? I didn't serve well, and I didn't volley well either. What does the man say about his tennis game? Number three. Was Gary prepared for the debate? It's no surprise that he was unprepared. What does the woman say about Gary? Number four. Did you go out dancing with everyone else last night? I was not feeling well, so I didn't go out. What does the woman mean? Number five. Do you think Paula understands what she's done? She isn't unaware of the trouble she's caused. What does the man say about Paula? Number six. Did your friends finish the term paper for history class? Steve wasn't able to finish it and Paul wasn't either. What does the woman mean? Number seven. Can you believe that George walked out of the restaurant without paying for his share of the meal? It was irresponsible of him not to pay the bill. What does the woman mean? To Millhouse University. Number eight. What happened when Harry applied to Millhouse University? It was unfortunate that he wasn't admitted to the university. What does the woman say about Harry? What did you think of the essay that I wrote? The first draft of the essay wasn't well written, and the second wasn't much better. What does the man mean? And the last one, guys. Number 10. 
Has Roger been disturbed by all of the recent problems? He hasn't been unaffected. What does the woman mean? That Roger has been bothered, has been affected too. So guys, that is the double negative, right? He hasn't been unaffected. So that's a double negative. So people, tomorrow we are going to discuss how well we did in this one, guys. If you got no problems or how did you feel this one, guys? Tomorrow we are going to do listening day, but also pronunciation day. That's something that we have to work on. So tomorrow we are going to start working on pronunciation, guys. And sure? that's it. People, prepare. Remember, Monday we have our test. What are the topics? You can find it in unit one and unit two. Unit two, we haven't finished that one. We will see the topic tomorrow. Okay, guys? So thank you so could, much. Could, could, you please, could, could you please share the link of the video that you have? Uh, uh, no yet, my friend. No yet. No quiero revelar okay. mis secretos ocultos. Okay. Yet. But <laughs> later on, you will have them for sure. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful night. Everyone. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night, everyone. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, people.